Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be comparing the snap mount versus the brand new Telesit Magnetic Bracket Expansion Kit mount. Wow, it's a mouthful. The Talison version is $27, while the snap mount comes in at a whopping $70. And naturally, the million dollar question would be, the Talison is so much cheaper at $27, less than half the cost of the snap mount, is it half as good? Well, we're about to find out. All right, to give you guys a quick explanation what these two products are, it basically allows you to go from this, find it, chest mount, in mere seconds to allow you to switch out your mounts quickly so that you can get pretty awesome dynamic shots from handheld selfie stick shots all the way to quick POV shots. Now the two products are so similar. One of them is the OG and of course we need to give credit where credit is due. The original creator of this magnetic contraption is actually by a company called Snap Mount. It comes in a nice little box. I already unboxed it and it comes with two base plates that allows you to mount to any type of GoPro accessories. In this case, I have a GoPro extension selfie stick here and it uses the GoPro fingers. So it's pretty much universal now. On the other one, I had it mounted onto a quarter inch tripod adapter just so that I can pretty much adapt these two to anything. It also comes with a pendant mount like this and this pendant mount allows you to wear it underneath a jacket or t-shirt and they will allow you to quickly mount the camera onto your chest. The thing about this pendant mount is the, the, the string is super long, which I'm not a big fan of because I don't like having extra rope around my neck. If I'm doing any type of action sports, I find it a hazard, right? Like I don't want any extra rope dangling. If I'm snowboarding, I don't want this thing get caught on a ski lift or anything like that. So I'm not a huge fan of this. I would recommend you guys replacing this. And the last piece that allow you to mount the GoPro onto all these magnetic contraptions would be the base plate. The base plate is key in making this happen. They all have magnets to it and they're all N52 rare earth magnets and they're very, very strong. It really takes significant forces to, to pull these apart. Onto the Telesin side. It comes with one base plate. It comes with one adapter plate and they stick together like that. And of course, it also comes with the pendant mount that allows you to just stick on here like this. In addition, the Telesin also comes with this weird sticky mount. This is non-magnetic, so it is perfect if you want to mount this on top of my Tesla's roof, like this. See? Now we can record cool time lapses. Pretty handy. Just take it off. It's a little sticky. No hard to take off. Oh, you just have to yank it out. Once you're done, put the sticky back on. And then put it back in the sleeve. And you're all set. And this, I believe, was inspired the Insta360 Gold's sticky mount. It's good that Telesin is getting inspired and learning from all the other successful accessories manufacturers and then making it in their own version at a lower price point. All right, let's go right into build quality. I'll give the point to snap mount because if you look very closely, you can see a lot of the attention to details such as cutouts for weight savings and also support buttresses to stiffen up the frame. And overall, I would say the plastic quality are more robust in comparison to the Talisons version. And the other piece I want to add to the build quality for snap mount is the fact that they use really quality magnets. Magnet is the backbone of everything, right? So the fact that they use good quality N52 magnets really help justify the higher price point. The Telesin version is not bad. Everything is actually a lot smoother, a lot more round edges, but it's just not as premium feeling as the snap mount. But don't get me wrong, they're both built quite well, 
but the snap mount just seems a little bit more robust. Let's talk about form factor. If we're looking at the pendant mount, they are about the same size. Where Telesyn truly shines is the base plate. The size difference compared to this is huge. When you're mounting a camera onto the base plate, it is such a smaller form factor when compared to mounting the camera onto the snap mount. Yes, it's the size of a GoPro, but if you're not using the snap mount all the time, it also means that you have to carry this thing with you. It takes up space. Versus if we're just looking at something like the Telesyn little thing, you wouldn't think twice about bringing it because it's so much smaller. Additional point goes to Telesyn. GoPro can sit flush on the adapter plate. But on the other hand, if you're using the media mod with the snap mount, it has these weird fins sticking out that hits the back of your media mod. Now, if you're using the GoPro by itself, it fits perfectly inside these two fins. But if you're using a media mod, you always have this weird angle right here. And the problem is if you're doing POV shots like this, you're always pointing down a little bit. Even if you flip it, now you're always pointing up. Oh, shit. You don't have as much of an adjustment compared to the Telesyn version. You can just really fine tune the amount of angle that you want to use. Given the GoPro is a wide angle camera, it's not like it matters all that much. But what if you're shooting narrow? What if you're shooting different types of aspect ratio? You want to make sure that you get the most out of your image and it all starts with the hardware that you're attaching to your body. So Telesyn must be better, right? Hold your horses, we're gonna go right into the negatives. All right, let's talk about magnets. And yes, I'm gonna dedicate a little section in this review to talk about magnets. Why? Because magnets are the backbone of this whole accessory. Snap mount easily wins this because of the strong magnets that they actually use. In my super scientific sweater pull test, you can see that the snap mounts and 52 magnets are no joke. The GoPro became pretty hefty with the medium mod on and the snap mount takes quite a bit of effort to remove from the sweater. And on the other hand, you can see that the Telus version came off with minimal effort. In this case, you really do get what you paid for. The snap mount is just all around a more secure mounting solution. All right, usability. The reality is that I would not use either of these mounts for extreme sports per se, just because I don't think magnets alone are strong enough to hold up in any type of crashes. And Snap Mount is very smart and they recognize that. And so they came out with a version that has two plastic clips right here. So what it does is it allows the, the magnet part to happen but it also adds additional security by having a plastic hook that stays on here. In order for you to take it off, you just have to squeeze the two hooks and pull the magnets apart. It just give a little bit more peace of mind. And it, with the clip, I would consider using it for snowboarding. But what I would use these magnetic mounts for would be quick shots such as uh, travel filmmaking, POV shots, behind the scene shots. You can just quickly get your selfie stick get the front angle, get the selfie angle, and then you can quickly get a point of view angle. And it gives you a lot of versatility in a very quick amount of time. Not to mention you can also mount these on any type of metal surfaces like this, the hood of your car. Both snap mount and Telesyn version perform just fine under moderate speed at around 45 miles an hour, but I would not recommend car mounting with the medium mod on just because of the extra weight and also the bigger profile is going to catch wind easier and no one wants to hear super loud road noise hey guys interjecting here a couple tips if you are going to be mounting your snap mount or your telecent magnetic mount onto your vehicle you should really consider getting one of these this is from snap mount it's like a really thin silicon mat that basically sits between your paint and your mount and that prevents scratches on your vehicle. But if you're too cheap like me, and you don't wanna spend a couple bucks on this, that's fine. Just find those like cheap microfiber cloth that comes with all like the, the cell phone screen installation. Cut up a little piece of it and stick it on. It will do exactly the same thing, but free. If you're paranoid like me and you wanna make sure you don't lose your GoPro, then you can actually 
tie the base plate up. So now, just in case your primary mounting spot fails, at least you have a secondary anchor that you're tying a rope or some sort of tether to that anchor so you don't lose your camera right away, at least giving a fighting chance if you're going like 80 miles an hour. But if you're wondering if you can run a marathon with the pendant mount, the answer is no. It's gonna annoy the hell out of you and you're probably gonna try to ditch your GoPro within the first mile. If you're gonna do any type of strenuous sports like that, highly recommend you getting the GoPro chesty or this guy, the Telesyn neck mount, the newer version. If you're interested, I will have this video here. Speaking of bounce, you're gonna see a lot of up and down bouncing motion when you're using the pendant mount just because of gravity. Especially if you're using the medium mod, this thing is pretty hefty. As you can see, I'm wearing a thick sweater here with a lot of support, but it's still sacked because of the weight of the camera. There's just no way to go around that. It's going to be worse if you're wearing just a t-shirt by itself, just because there's not enough support for the weight of the camera plus the pendant mount. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about the pendant mount, when it comes to Telesyn, there is a benefit over the snap mount. Nowadays, everyone likes to shoot vertical video. All you need to do is just turn this sideways and you can film vertical video pretty easily. But with the snap mount, because of its rectangular design, you can't really turn the plate 90. I'm just so afraid of this thing clipping my fingers. You can't really turn the plate 90 degrees like that. If you're making a lot of YouTube shorts and TikTok vertical videos, then you might want to consider the Telesyn version, although the magnet's a little bit weaker. Well, let's finish up this video by talking about value. At $27, which is less than half the cost of the snap mount, the Telesyn really gives you about 80% of what the snap mount offers. The reason why I said 80% is because I'm docking that 20% due to the weaker magnets. Now, by no means are the magnets weak, they are just weaker in comparison to the snap mount. If you want the best of the best and the most secure mounting solution, get the snap mount. Just keep in mind that you have to deal with the quirk with the media mod. But other than that, it's a very solid option. On the other hand, if you're on a budget, but you still want the flexibility of a magnetic mount, and if you don't mind being more careful with the weaker magnets and your camera potentially falling off, then go with the Telesyn. I have both, but I think when I travel, I'll lean more towards the Telesyn just because of the form factor. It's just easier to pack with me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find this video helpful. I am so close to getting 1,000 subscribers. I can't do this alone. I need your help. Please hit the subscribe button, share this video, like it, and let YouTube know that I exist in, in the matrix. Bye.